When it comes to describing Grandmaster Yoda, there aren't enough superlatives for his well-meaning and selfless nature. But even one of the wisest and most powerful characters in the entire Star Wars saga can have a few skeletons in his closet. So, with that in mind, here are 10 things to forget about Yoda. Number 10. He was originally going to be an ape named Buffy. When we watch the original Star Wars trilogy, it's hard to imagine Yoda as anything other than a beautifully crafted puppet. And it goes without saying that casting a highly trained animal for the role would have been entirely beyond belief, right? Well, as strange as it may sound, and due to the limitations of animatronics at the time, George Lucas and company seriously considered placing a monkey in some ragged robes and behind an alien-like mask. But if that wasn't bizarre enough, Yoda was originally bestowed the first name of either Minch or Buffy, so it's fair to say that we're all glad none of these drastic changes ever came to fruition. Number 9. His Mismatched Toes While obscure behind-the-scenes facts can inspire fun tidbits of trivia, overlooked continuity errors can certainly annoy and even frustrate viewers. For example, the number of toes Yoda possesses per foot changes depending on which Star Wars film you watch. Indeed, The Phantom Menace portrays the Jedi Master as having six toes in total, whereas in Revenge of the Sith, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi, he has eight. Although perhaps it's best to forget the magical, ever-changing properties of Yoda's feet. Number 8. His Speech Pattern The most misquoted line in the entire Star Wars saga, if not cinema as a whole, is of course, No. I am your father. Another massive misconception, however, is Yoda's distinctive speech pattern. You see, a vast majority of casual fans believe Yoda to speak backwards in every single sentence, and because of this, many have slated his supposedly inconsistent dialogue throughout the prequels, particularly during the intimate scene with Anakin Skywalker in Episode 3. But if we all remember back to the original trilogy, Yoda only spoke unusually around 50% of the time. So, by its very nature, his speech has crafted an incredibly unique characteristic, but also a lot of confusion. Number 7. His relationship with Chewbacca As briefly touched upon earlier, the prequel films inadvertently manufactured a whole host of glaring plot holes, one of which being Yoda's friendship with Chewbacca. In fairness, it didn't make sense for Chewbacca to correct Han Solo's disbelief in Jedi and the Force before the release of Episodes 1, 2, and 3. That all changed, however, when Revenge of the Sith depicted Yoda and Chewbacca together during the Battle of Kashyyyk. Maybe he was just a bit forgetful with his time spent fighting with the Galactic Republic, the Jedi Order, and its Grand Master. But then again, it's not every day you misplace your memory of a three-year-long pan-galactic conflict. Number 6. He trained every youngling. To be trained by one of the wisest and most powerful beings in the entire galaxy must feel entirely unique, not to mention life-changing. I say all of this primarily due to what Obi-Wan Kenobi alluded to in The Empire Strikes Back, that he was intimately tutored in the ways of the Force by Yoda. This gave Luke Skywalker's very own training an extra sense of gravitas and importance. But when Attack of the Clones revealed Yoda's role as a tutor to all Jedi younglings, any significance the Dagobah scenes possessed beforehand was suddenly shattered, unless you choose to forget. Number 5. He got high. Wise, powerful, respected, these adjectives go hand in hand with the title of Grand Master of the Jedi Order. What doesn't quite fit as much is the term drug user. So if I were to tell you that Yoda was a fiend for getting high, you'd probably think less of him, right? Well, grab your pitchforks and be ready for the shocking truth. You see, aside from its primary use, Yoda would chew on his walking stick to release its nutritional and meditative-inducing liquid. This would keep him alive during his many years in exile, although the Gaima juice also released a natural anesthetic. And while it isn't really known how often Yoda took a hit, you've got to think there wasn't much else to do on the remote world of Dagobah. Number 4. His upbringing Ever since Disney bought the rights to Star Wars back in 2012, they and fans alike have proposed anthology films for a number of individual and well-established characters. The likes of Boba Fett, Han Solo and Obi-Wan Kenobi have either been confirmed for or rumoured to heavily feature in future projects. One name that hasn't popped up all that often is Yoda. Now, there are a couple of reasons for this, but the primary one would be the Jedi's mystique. Part of what makes Yoda so great is his unrevealed backstory. Sure, he may have surpassed 900 years of age, yet hardly any of that has been revealed to the fans, and nor should it. 
If Disney were to explore his younger days, as was the case with Star Wars Legends, which revealed Yoda's master and induction into the Jedi Order, then there's a chance the character wouldn't feel as special or as individual as he once did. Number 3. Yaddle You know everything I just mentioned, about how less said about Yoda is probably for the best? Well, take all of that reasoning and apply it to Yaddle. Sure, some fans were undoubtedly pleased to see another member of Yoda's species in The Phantom Menace, however, most others would have preferred to have left Yaddle in the cutting room floor. It sounds rather malice to encourage the near extinction of an entire race, but hey, it's just a little bit of fiction after all. Number 2. He lost to Darth Sidious Failing to detect the presence of an almighty Sith Lord when he is right next to you is one thing, but losing in lightsaber combat despite being a master of such is quite another. Let's take nothing away from Mace Windu, but if he was able to best Palpatine in a one-on-one -on -one duel, then surely the Grand Master of the Jedi Order could at least do something similar. Instead, Yoda was somewhat easily brushed aside, leaving the galaxy to the mercy of Darth Sidious and his newborn Galactic Empire. Number 1. He used a lightsaber You can argue either way about how ridiculous or awesome it is to see Yoda jumping around doing flips with a lightsaber in his hand. What you can't argue against, however, is how the little green guy was portrayed in the original trilogy. Specifically in The Empire Strikes Back, Yoda comes across as a master of the Force and a believer that the Force was all anyone would ever need to become a successful Jedi. And so, his lightsaber wielding actions of the Star Wars prequels was not only out of character, but it went against everything he stood for in Episodes 5 and 6. You could even make the same argument for Darth Sidious. I mean, who needs a lightsaber when you can shoot lightning from your hands and throw massive objects at your opponents? Both characters simply feel too powerful to even bother wielding the traditional Jedi and Sith weapon. If you know of any more things that we should probably just forget about Yoda, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like. And for weekly countdown content, press that subscribe button and notification bell to keep it locked here to the Cancrasans.